There are nearly one and a half million residents living in long-term care facilities across the country. Joining us with more on the importance of protecting their rights and dignity is Linda Nairt, program developer for Trident Area Agency on Aging. And I appreciate you being here. October, very important month for, for your cause. What does October signify? Absolutely. Um, October is Residents Rights Month for the residents of facilities. And this is a time for us to acknowledge them and respect them, respect their choice, their decisions, their right for dignity. Um, so we educate not only the, co the general community about the residents' rights of their family members in facilities, but we also take this time to educate the people that provide them services, the CNAs, the kitchen staff, anyone that works within a long-term care facility. And a long-term care facility, elder care facility, what Absolutely, are those facilities? would be nursing homes, nursing homes, assisted living, memory cares, any type of residential community homes. And we all know that there's quite a few of those within the Tri-County area. Sure, and, and you say that you are an, um, an, a liaison for a lot of the staff as well, but let's focus on the residents first, because Absolutely. in order to, everyone needs to be treated with respect and dignity, but why are we drawing particular attention to those people who are residents of long-term care facilities? What, where, what's the issue? Where's the gap? Well, here? many times the residents do not know what their rights are. Mm. And often they're also concerned about expressing concerns about their care. Because if they don't have anyone else to visit them, other than the people that's provided them care, they don't have anyone to complain to about their care. Because they're surely not going to complain to the person that's providing them bad care. Mm. So it's nice to know, for the residents to know, that they can voice their concerns. If they have a desire or a wish that's not being fulfilled, let us know. But oftentimes you don't know what you don't know, and, and not every single resident, even though they should, might not see this particular segment. So mm -hmm. how do they know that they have that power to do something? And especially if they're undergoing right. critical care such as Alzheimer's, memory care, and things like that. You know, I'm so happy to say that our long-term care ombudsmen are in the facilities. We go in every facility tri-county wide. We're always speaking with the residents of the facilities. We're sharing information on what their rights are. We're educating them. But we're also wanting to educate family members. We have signs posted throughout the facility about their rights. And we always do talk to them about advocating. And it is law. It is law. It is the law. It is a nursing home law, residents' rights. And just to give you some background, so in 1987, this law was passed called the Nursing Home Reform Law, and it guarantees nursing home mm -hmm. residents their individual rights. Yes. Yes. And so it is a part of the law for people such as yourself, volunteers, ombuds people, to be mm -hmm. in those facilities at all times. And, and what do you do? Do you go around room to room? Do Absolutely. You go from the long-term care ombudsmen are there to help the, help the resident advocate for their rights. So we always encourage them and empower them to advocate for their own rights. But if for some reason they don't feel like they're able to do that, or they want someone else to do that on their behalf, that is the role of the long-term care ombudsman. And then what happens? So let's say someone has a complaint, they file the complaint mm -hmm. with you, sure. and then how does that get rectified? How does it get solved? You know, there's sometimes that we're able to keep the confidence, you know, of the resident and not, um, and we would never disclose their information unless they give us approval. You know, but sometimes if something's really generic, we could say, you know, gosh, you know, some of the residents are getting their meals and they're cold. Um, you know, we can take that to the administrator and the administrator may say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, we've had a change of kitchen staff. And they can resolve that for a group of them. There may be something that is more complicated and we may need to pull their records. And, you know, so we do always, if we're advocating for any residents in particular, yeah. we always have to have their permission. Linda, let me ask you this. So Tri-County, there's about 19 nursing homes, 68 <gasps> assisted living homes. Yes. Okay, so yes. of those, numbers, do you have a pretty good relationship? Do you find that when a gripe has mm -hmm. been aired that they do take care of it? You know what's wonderful is we get um, concerns from residents, from family members, but we also get concerns from staff within facilities. Oh, interesting. Because they realize that we're there to help, and we're not only there to help the resident, but we're there just to make things better. Right. 
And speaking of making things better, speaking of help, you are always looking for volunteers oh. to be ombuds people. And, and also mm -hmm. just to eliminate the isolation uh, of living in a long-term care facility. So for people mm -hmm. who are interested in becoming yes. an ombuds person and a volunteer, where do they go? They do, they can give us a call. Okay. They can call the Trident Area Agency on Aging. And I wanted to let you know that 60% of residents prior to COVID never received a visitor. And those numbers have escalated. So we have a lot heart. of lonely seniors that just want someone to sit next to them and talk to them or watch gun smoke yeah, or Price is Right, right. Um, just to give them that socialization and that companionship. So yes, please, please, please. Trident Area Agency on Aging, 843-554-2275. Um, Linda, thank you so much. And they truly are the treasures of our community and it is incumbent upon us to take care of them, to be their good neighbor. Always. Linda, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. We're back after this.